So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I built this drawing using charcoal and black pan pastel and eraser work. And I built this drawing up on this canvas. And I'll show you how I seal it along the way so that it will accept more charcoal. And I'm also going to show you how I seal it to protect the charcoal so that I can apply my glazes. So let's do it. <laughs> I begin my drawing using vine charcoal. I am right now just establishing the form of the horse. I did begin my drawing using the grid. You can kind of see the traces of the lines there. And then I erased it back once I had a general idea of the form. And these are two of my blending tools. I really love using this large stick of charcoal. It's like using a paintbrush. You can really lay down a lot of what I'd like to say color. And in this case, charcoal, it's very soft, very easy to blend. And one of the things I really noticed about this Nitrom charcoal is when I do push it back, it has a real warm shade of charcoal undertone. You know, charcoal does come in different colors, um, so to speak. And this one definitely has a brown undertone, which I really enjoyed. Also, I wanted to mention that I did prepare the canvas surface. It is good to have a smooth surface, so I did apply two additional coats of gesso. So all I'm doing now is establishing the initial layer of charcoal. As I mentioned earlier, this is a process of layering. And now I'm going back in and pulling out the highlights with a rubber kneaded eraser. So now I have the initial layer of charcoal established onto the canvas. And it's time to seal the canvas and give it some tooth. So I'll apply a coat of this acetone using the spray bottle. And then after it dries, two coats of the workable fixative. It's always best to do this outside. And now I'm making my own powdered charcoal. I like how dark the black is with this particular compressed charcoal. And I'm going to use this pan pastel tool to apply the powdered charcoal. It's really fun to use this tool. It makes it really feel like I'm painting rather than drawing. Now I'm going to apply the black pan pastel using my makeup sponge. I really like the soft effect of the black pan pastel and it's also very forgiving when you do go back in with your eraser work. It's a lovely product to work with and it combines so well with charcoal. pulling back some of the highlights using my electric eraser and two of my other favorites the Tombow eraser and the General's black eraser
the adding and subtracting process using charcoal, pan pastel, and eraser work really does create depth in your finished drawing. The eraser work can really add expressive mark making to your finished piece. And my drawing is complete. It is time to seal the canvas. To seal it, I use the isolation coat in a spray bottle, as you see to the right there. And one really good coat is enough. I'm going to add white gesso to areas of this charcoal drawing. I will be adding oil glazes to finalize this artwork. And I'm very excited about that, by the way. But I find that oil of any color will darken the whites. And so if I really want these areas to shine, it's probably a good idea to put down a white gesso. Or you could use a white acrylic paint. Either would work just fine. I think this drawing is very dynamic and I'm really curious to see how I develop it with oil glazes. So many people would say, stop right there. That's a beautiful drawing on canvas. Just seal it and it's good to go. But part of being an artist is constantly learning and honing your skills and trying new things. And new discoveries always happen when you try new things. Sometimes you fail, but oftentimes you find a new way of applying paint and applying your artistic chemistry to your work of art. So please join me and see the next development of this drawing as I apply glazes in oil paint. Now you could easily do glazes in acrylic and acrylic so forgiving that there is um, a benefit to acrylic, but I'm going to use oil glazes with this drawing. I'm really excited to try the oil glazes out on this drawing. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you'll check back soon for the video on completing this drawing using oil glazes.